Hey Banana Pilots, it's Matt here. Hey, you know, I haven't really uh, showed very many people uh, this uh, BF109F in camo, uh, the Blitz RC Banana Hobby uh, FMS 1400 uh, size uh, German Warbird. Uh, this thing is just beautiful. Um, you know, I know a lot of people, uh, you know, always go to the American made uh, Corsair, uh, the F4U Corsair. It's a great Warbird. Uh, has the drop tanks, the missiles, um, the gull wing design, a lot of very scale detail. Uh, but you got to look at these, uh, the uh, Mister Smith. Uh, very cool. It's got the you know the dual color uh, spinner on there, which is really neat in the air. It's got a great set of landing gear on it. A lot of people don't like the design, obviously. You know. Um, it's not hard to land at all. Um, I'm going to put a battery in it and uh, kind of go through the motions on it. Uh, this comes off very easily. Um, you've got a 17 gram Metal Gear servo and you've got a 10 gear um, Metal Gear servo for the rudder. Uh, the wires are kind of just uh, you know stuffed in there, not anything special. This, this is a working vent. It does go through into the compartment in through there which is really cool um, everything is nicely done um, you've got your battery compartment there the strap uh, it's set up very well you got a nice open canopy in there I move my ESC um, down and it's below that little groove in there so it gets direct air coming in from that scoop so it's constantly cooling the uh, the air as it comes through uh, it's attached to a nice little bungee there which even your cat can get strangled on and it won't break uh, that dog likes to chase our kitty cat so kind of funny you've got to uh, oh, I better get a battery for it um, the nice thing is, is I have it all set on uh, this radio here uh, lots of model memory I can leave this radio on for hours at a time it's the Turnigy uh, 9x I don't know if that's gonna even focus but uh, it uh, will actually uh, there you go you can see it better it'll it that thing will stay on it's got a life lipo battery and it'll stay on I charge it maybe once a month um, let's see, I go into menu and then I choose my the plane I want. And next one up is the BF 109, that, and just exit out. And I'm ready to go. Battery, this one takes uh, anywhere from the 26 to a 3000 or a 33. You know, normally, uh, let's see, um, normally I would take the propeller off of there to be safe. Um, remember that, guys, uh, you know, I don't care who you are, sooner or later it'll get you. So just remember that. Always make sure your throttle's off, radio's on, uh, things going in a safe direction. So, all right, let's see. Yeah. I'm just going to actually put it in so... I can uh, I'm just going to do it with one hand while I hold this thing. Simple enough. Okay, one second. Okay, you hear the thing come on, you know it's uh, it's all loaded up and ready to roll. You got the big green light on that side of the wing, the big red light on that side of the wing. Pretty neat. You now you got the props ready to go. Let me see if I can kind of show you this spinner a little bit. 
you kind of see that in the air coming at you. It looks pretty neat. You can put a nice motor on this one and uh, you got a nice slow moving engine if you wanted it to. Another neat option on here is these flaps. Watch these. Uh, that's one, and that's all the way. Nice slow moving flap system. See if I can get a better angle of it. Okay. Pretty cool, eh? Have it on a dual position switch. All metal gear, uh, digital servos. So. Steerable tailwheel there. And then we've got the drop tank and the gear down there, which is really cool. Let's uh, flip this bird up and get some uh, landing gear. You can see, uh, some of these you have to adjust. Um, I'm sure there's been a few people that have uh, oh, had a couple questions on these, but they're really easy to adjust. So the tail gear goes in there, as you can see. And that goes in as well. Let's see if I can get a better picture of this. Pretty fast, huh? But it works like a charm. Nice and flat, nice and flush. I really like that. Locks out really nicely. Locks up nice and flat to the wing for aerodynamics. Then here's another shot of your flaps. That it doesn't flare up as much. And these are all the new digital servos. So, just wanted to show you guys this. This bird is just very nicely done. I mean, if you can see some of the detail in this thing, uh, everything, everything is just beautifully done. It's the big, big wheel on there. You got your air holes back here, uh, you know, for ventilation and heat dissipation. Uh, locks on all of your uh, clevises and horns um, you know the lights on the wings and uh, this thing is awesome uh, the tail is built in so there's in the gluing uh, the, you glue the spar which is very simple and strong um, across this tail section in here on the bottom and these two pieces push in you know for one piece design the wing comes off or you know so if you do have an accent with this plane how easy it'll be to fix um, good sturdy front uh, plastic cover gives it some strength there the machine guns and the detail I mean it's just beautiful and performance I can't tell you this thing that has the Corsair has great performance and inherently somehow they uh, they got in the whistle uh, when you fly this plane, it has that same uh, whistling death sound that the real Corsair has when you fly over. If you've ever uh, watched a close video of it on a flyby, it's really neat. Um, I, I love the fact they did that. Same with this airplane. They've captured the, uh, the sound of, uh, of the, the engine, so to say, and the whistle as it flies by. So, anyway, let's be careful with my controls because it is on. I'll go ahead and take the battery out. And again, a very simple compartment. Um, okay. I'll take the battery out of here. Huh? And sorry about the the video work. I'm doing this myself, but uh, if you guys are you want to get a BF-109, highly recommend this bird. It's beautiful. 
just really beautiful. Got a lot of neat, uh, neat design uh, fact factors on here that uh, really make it nice. And uh, uh, you know, even right down to the vents on the ailerons and vents on the tails here, uh, gives it a beautiful scale, scale detail. Let's go to my model and we'll go to the Corsair 14 in blue. Okay, so now the Corsair. Uh, let's see. A lot of people, I think everybody's had a pretty good view of the, the Corsair. Uh, there's been quite a few of them flown on YouTube and uh, Oh, you know, um, great dark blue color. A uh, lot of, lot of the uh, you know factory antenna and the detail, uh, the tail, the V. Um, this is the, the navy blue, the 301. Uh, Jim Barber, <laughs> uh, you know they've really gone out uh, on these uh, airplanes. They've got the lights and everything. That's go ahead and take a look on the inside um, mine I have the receiver nicely set in the center um, there's the retract module uh, and you know the wires I normally used to make them real pretty and all that but uh, again you got the 17 uh, gram servos uh, this one has the uh, oh those look like uh, 13 or so metal servo but they're the digital metals and they work great another big battery compartment there um, it's nice that the battery uh, slips right in that little and it's held in place once the canopy's on as well you can put duct tape or not duct tape but uh, double stick tape in there if you like um, let's go ahead and get this one running again Those are your initializing beeps. Okay. Now this one's really cool. I think a lot of people have seen that, but it's got the, the navigation and the landing lights, which is really cool. Uh, really gives it a nice scale appearance in the evening. Uh, you know, if you're coming in, you can see that. You can see your orientation with those lights as well. Uh, this one, you know, has a little bit faster response on the prop, um, as you can see there. Uh, this one doesn't have the folding wings like my LX model does, but this is the FMS uh, 14 mil 1400 millimeter F4U Corsair Blitz RC Banana Hobby. Uh, great place to purchase your airplanes from. Best price, uh, uh, best customer service. Um, you know, there's other places everybody swears by, but you know, when it comes to the nicest people in the world, Banana Hobby, they take the uh, first place prize by a, by a football field. I mean, they're super nice people. They have a process. They've been around a long time, and that's important. It's important to me. So anyway, um, again, flaps. I have these set up on two position. That's all the way down, which is uh, you know really a neat feature. These it just gives it that uh, extra scale and slows it down. Uh, normally, setting one is plenty. Actually, you don't really need flaps, but all the way. I mean, that'll really slow this bird down. You can uh, creep if you want. Um, all. Uh, digital servos uh, got your ailerons and comes with a cat audience uh, they really enjoy that those kind of things uh, you know like mice and stuff but kind of the same sound um, see how she likes the propeller yeah she's not he's not afraid oh Lewis anyway um, and now let's see if I can get the landing gear um, I'll flip it up on its nose 
carefully. Try to get the prop out of the way and we'll get a... Now this one does not have the tail wheel that uh, goes into, I could, you know, certainly put one on if I wanted to, um, the retracting tail gear, but for now it's new, it's fine. Uh, it just has your standard landing gear, so let's take a look at that. And first we need to find a spot that I can lean this up safely. A little thing here. Just like that. And the neat thing on these is it has, it has the, uh, the doors, which are fairly fast. We got a curious observer, but they work very well. You know, if you do hit hard, uh, you can jar these things and they're very inexpensive nowadays. So um, I like the drop tanks and the missiles. I went ahead and painted mine a uh, color I liked. Um, you can always paint them any color you want. Um, you know, everybody's got a little bit different preference. But anyway, this is the Blitz RC Banana Hobby. FMS 1400 millimeter F4U Corsair um, absolutely beautiful airplane um, you know you won't get the uh, the durability uh, out of a balsa and ply plane that you will the EPO um, you can crash one of these and you can glue it back together and within a half hour to an hour depending on the epoxy you use, you can be back at the field flying it even after breaking the entire body in half if, if you choose to. Uh, or you can simply buy another body and just swap the parts. Um, as where a balsa and ply plane, you know, you generally have uh, structure uh, failure throughout the entire airplane um, as a result of a crash. Uh, usually your, your wheels will come off and your wing, just there's just too many fractures and uh, you might as well take all the mono coat off and you're going to spend a good good amount of time getting that fixed. Uh, the BF109F and camo FMS, uh, it's, this is the Blitz RC Banana Hobby, uh, the German uh, Warbird, fabulous. Man, and I can't tell you the fl flying this thing, it's beautiful. Landing it, piece of cake, floats. Um, you know, if you've had a little bit of stick time, which, you know, I'm kind of just getting back into RC, um, you know, I'd flown for years prior and then got out and now I'm back in. So, you know, still got to work on my getting my wings back. You know, there's oh, a lot of things I used to do when I was a hot dogger. So just not that way anymore. I've kind of mellowed out. But anyway, hope you kind of enjoyed these two Warbirds. I'll go into the P40 and the uh, 1700 millimeter Corsair uh, next videos. If you guys have any questions, you know, let me know if you want me to zoom in on something for you so you can take a look if you have questions on quality, strength, uh, whatever. Uh, be glad to help you out on these. I've been getting a lot of uh, inquiries on, uh, you know, hey, what's going on with these EPO birds, you know. Uh, I know a lot of ball supply guys, it's hard to uh, try something new uh, when you've got something that's tried and true. Um, but I'll tell you what. I've had a lot more give and a lot more success and longevity with these and I'm staying in the hobby because of these where balsa and ply, um, you know, it cost me too much money, it just started to get unenjoyable and that's what happens. So I uh, hope you guys uh, had a great Christmas um, or day after Christmas and we will talk to you all later. Thanks for watching. Bye.